pruning your tomato plants? If not, you should be. Here's why. Here in Wyoming, I plant indeterminate tomato plant varieties because we have such a short growing season. Now the difference between determinate and indeterminate is determinate plants are just, they just kind of set fruit and it all ripens at the same time, which is great if you're living in a climate that that's conducive to and if you want to um, can tomatoes. But if you just want a nice supply of tomatoes from midsummer till that early frost, I'd go with indeterminate. And the indeterminates are what, another, another name for indeterminate is vining tomatoes because they don't really have a compact shape. They kind of just sprawl all over and it's really important to prune and stake them. And pruning tomatoes is something I love to do because it makes the fruit ripen earlier and the fruit's bigger and it's just more conducive to a bountiful harvest for me. One of the best things you can do for your tomato plants is to prune them. And I always prune them several times when they start getting too bushy. When you have this big beautiful tomato plant with all these thick lush leaves, it looks great, but it's not going to produce as much fruit as if you were to prune them. We want all the energy going into producing tomatoes, not leaves. Can't eat tomato leaves, so you may as well cut them off. And this is probably the third time I've pruned this tomato plant. And it's it's still huge so you just just start cutting off those big leaves can't eat those and it exposes the fruit to the Sun so it ripens I'm getting lots of ripe tomatoes now and it's uh, August 3rd I don't know people in town um, in Casper they they harvest fruit a lot earlier than I do out here but for me this is this is a decent time to start having good tomatoes. I'd prefer July, but can't have it all. Here we go. All the trimming's done. Now all the tomatoes are going to get all that nice sunlight. There's a tomato right down in there. Look at all those. Most of my tomatoes that I plant are indeterminate, which are early girls because they ripen faster for this short growing season. Now these guys are just little cherry tomatoes. Sweet 100, I think they're called. So the next thing we're going to do in about two weeks, because it's the beginning of August and Usually we get our first frost around the middle of September. So four weeks before then, we're going to come through. So in a couple weeks, I'm going to come through and I'm going to top these because uh, they're not going to produce tomatoes before the frost. So I'm going to get rid of those so that I can have more energy focused on ripening what's already here and growing. You know, like those little guys there are going to get bigger. Early girls are not very big tomatoes, but they're not, they're not super small. They're about medium-sized tomatoes, but this one, this one has a lot more growing to do.